Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Still Draw One and Got a Soul. Today, I'm going to be dyeing these DB6s. As you can see, they're faded and the material's rough on top as well. Um, you know, I went ahead and mixed my own suede dye because I wasn't sure what color to buy off Angelus. So um, I went ahead and mixed my own color. I'm going to go ahead and unlace the shoes real quick. I'm going to time lapse the process and um, I'll get right back to y'all right now. Alright, so now that I got them pretty much all the way unlaced, I'm going to go ahead and start applying the dye. Um, you'll see a big difference right now as soon as I start applying it. I'm going to be doing two coats to it. And um, I time lapse the process. I'm going to let it play all the way out just because there's not a re-dye video um, up on YouTube right now for DB6s. So I just want to give you a full look and show how to do them and how they came out. So um, like I said, I time lapse the process. Uh, feel free to skip ahead to about to around the five minute mark or so. And um, I'll be back. But you know, feel free to watch it all the way through as well because um, I left the footage in there for y'all to watch and um, you know I'll be right back like I said um, there's not a video up like this on here so if you can share this video for me it would be greatly appreciated and um, you know I'll be right back Alright, so this was the hardest part right here. 
was uh, getting between the one logo and the back. Uh, you could, I could have used a smaller brush, but I just went ahead and kept, uh, you know, just using the same brush that I was using. But I could have went smaller. Um, you know, you just want to make sure you're patient. You take your time because once you get this blue dye on the white stitching, it's probably not going to come out. So uh, you just want to make sure you're patient. You take your time on it. Um, so, you know, since it is like real detail, um, getting the inside of the circle. So uh, you know, just want to give you a quick look at that. And, uh, So I'm about to get into a quick before and after of the left shoe and the right shoe. Um, as you can see, the left shoe is still extremely faded and the uh, suede is damaged as well. Um, the same thing with the, with the left shoe, the suede was damaged. That's why some spots are a little bit darker than others. Um, I tried to do everything that I could to it, but you know, there's nothing there's nothing you can do about damaged suede. Um, but you know, the results, they still came out nice. So, you know, you can't argue with the results. Um, you know, this is my first time dying some DV6s. I haven't seen anybody post it on YouTube like I said before, but um, you know that's why I wanted to give you a full look and show how they came out. And um, you know, here's a quick look at the right shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and fade it into the result. Uh, you know, the after. So um, you know, if you can, leave a comment, like this video, and um, you know, make sure you subscribe to my weekly videos. I'm gonna get into some before pictures and show you a full after right now. Um, you know, I'm just gonna let the video play out, and I just wanna say thanks for watching. And um, you know, make sure you follow me on Instagram at StudiesUR1. If you need anything, check out the website, gotasouls.com. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching.